What's up Raiders, Bionic here with another build video on Raid Shadow Legends. This one will cover the 4 champions I am currently using in my offense arena build which is perfect for beginners and perhaps even mid to end game players because it can be effective against certain types of high level teams. But before I go ahead and explain the gear and stats of those 4 champions, I want to point out that this build is only good against certain types of enemy teams. And since it uses farmable champions and one of the 4 beginner champions, it can easily be outmatched by similar but faster teams. Also, this build might work for now but I suspect it will become less effective over time when most endgame players realize that speed is crucial because whoever attacks first usually wins. This is especially true for a burst attack type of team, but it might not apply against a heavy defense team. So in other words, if you decide to build an arena team that won't attack first, you better be damn sure you can resist that first wave of AoEs from the enemy team. And the reason I say this might be the best starter arena build is mainly because I think it's much easier to make a strong attack team instead of a strong defense team in the beginning. And this is because of the farmable champions available to us. So the four champions I have chosen provide all the buffs and debuffs we need to maximize that initial burst power and eliminate the enemy team in one round, most of the time. Three of those are AoE damage dealers from all three affinity types, which provides an all-around approach. So now that I've given some background on the build, let's go over the gear and stats for each champion. In the first slot, we have Spirit Host, a farmable champion from Chapter 4 whose main purpose is to provide a 10% speed aura and more importantly, our 50% increase attack buff. As an added bonus, she also has her A3, which uh, removes and blocks debuffs, which is very useful in situations where the first turn isn't enough to kill all the enemies. For her stats, Speed is the most important because she has to go first. Mine currently has 188, which I've been able to achieve with a 2-piece speed set and a 4-piece shield set. If you can't do that, I suggest you use 3 speed sets. Since I am using a shield set though, HP is the second most important stat. Therefore, she has a rank 5 speed boots, HP% percent gloves, and an HP% percent chest. As for her substats, it's all about more speed and more HP, the rest doesn't really matter, but you could always try adding more damage, if possible. Her skills have all been maxed with duplicate champions, and she has a few masteries from when I was using her in the campaign, but they don't really help for the purpose of this build, so they could definitely be optimized. In the second slot, we have War Maiden, a farmable force champion from Chapter 9 whose main purpose is to provide our first AoE attack and more importantly, our 60% decreased defense debuff. As one of our damage dealers, she also has decent single target abilities which are useful if the fight doesn't end after the first turn. For her stats, speed is once again crucial because she has to attack right after Spirit Host. However, because of the defense debuff, she also needs a lot of accuracy to guarantee it will land. Mine has 169 speed and 147 accuracy before masteries, which I've been able to achieve with a 2-piece speed set and a 2-piece accuracy set. Attack, crit rate and crit damage are obviously also important, which is why she has crit rate gloves and accuracy chests and obviously speed boots. As for her substats, I would say focus on getting as much speed as possible, 160 or more, then accuracy, 140 or more, then crit rate, 75% or more, and then as much attack and crit damage as possible. Her skills have also been maxed out with duplicate champions, and as for her masteries, here are the basic important ones in my opinion. For the support, pinpoint accuracy, charge focus, and smiter. For the Office Tree, Deadly Precision, Keen Strike, Shield Breaker, and Rootless Ambush. For the third slot, we have Berserker, a Spirit Champion which is also farmable from Chapter 9. His job is to provide our second AoE attack which has the added bonus of ignoring 20% of each target's defense which is especially useful against heavy defense team. He also has interesting single target abilities if the fight doesn't end after the first turn. For his stats, speed again but slightly less than War Maiden and more than the 4th slot champion, and then as much damage as possible. Therefore mine has 158 speed, 85% total crit rate, and 81% total crit damage. I was able to achieve this with 3 attack sets, which his gloves are crit rate, his chest is attack percent, and once again, 
speed boots. As for his substats, just focus on maximizing his damage output with at least 155 speed, 75% crit rate, and then as much attack and crit damage as possible. His skills have also been maxed out with duplicate champions, and as for the masteries, these are the basic important ones in my opinion. For the offense, once again, Deadly Precision, Keen Strike, Shield Breaker, and Rootless Ambush. Finally, the starter champion is our fourth and magic type champion. I chose Ethel, but they could all work. However, Kale may actually be better suited for this role because of the turn meter increase on champion kills on his 8 2. This champion's role is to provide our third and final AoE attack, which in all cases has an extra 15% chance to crit. This means we can maximize the damage output of that skill because it is easier to use crit damage gloves. So for the stats, aim for 150 speed or more, and then at least 70% crit rate, which will then have an extra 15% on that AoE, and finally 140% crit damage or more, which is roughly what mine has. I was able to achieve this with a 4-piece uh, lifesteal set and a 2-piece attack set, where the gloves are crit damage and the chest is attack percent, and of course the boots are speed. I don't think I need to explain the substats at this point, it should be pretty obvious. I will mention however that if she would only be used in the arena, I would probably use 3 attack sets, like Berserker to further increase her damage output. Her skills have been maxed with rare skill tomes and as for her masteries, we have the same important ones in the offense. Deadly Precision, Keen Strike, Shield Breaker, and Rootless Ambush. Now for the Great Hall bonuses. I am in Arena Gold Tier 4, which means my basic stats are boosted by 20%, and I've increased the Magic and Force Attack Percent bonus to 6, which gives me an extra 10% for each. So there it is guys, my starter arena build, which as you've probably noticed by now, relies heavily on the synergy between champions and speed. It's all about getting enough speed on each of them, and then increasing that burst damage output. Next steps for this build would be to get Gorgorab or Seeker, and eventually the new champion, Arbiter, to replace Spirit Host. Until then, I can't really compete with teams that have any of those champions. There's also a lot of optimization to be done on the gear to achieve 100% crit rate and 150% crit damage on all three AoE champions. My Berserker isn't rank 6 yet, and they still all need to have their masteries maxed. I will try to provide an update on the build once I've made significant improvements. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video and would like to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Later guys.